current government policy affects children. The whole of education policy affects children today. Does that mean that 11 and 12 year olds should have the vote just because education policy currently well, affects them? Yeah, now, Sir Keir Starmer says if you're old enough to pay taxes, you deserve to be able to vote. Is it a good idea, though, to lower the voting age to 16? Saffron Gilbert Kaluba believes it would help bring the younger generation into the political conversation. Samantha Smith says we can't place the responsibility of voting at children's doors, however. Good morning to both of you. Morning, Thanks both. for joining us. Uh, Samantha, let's start with you then. You know, Sir Keir Starmer saying if 16 year olds are old enough to, to go and work, to pay taxes, surely they should have a say in those taxes. Well, when Keir Starmer and other Votes at 16 campaigners describe the hypothetical 16-year-olds that have adult responsibilities and show, so should be allowed the adult duty of, of voting, they're describing my life. At 16, I was homeless. I worked three jobs to survive. I slept in bus stops, sofa surfed on friends' couches, flitted between kids' accommodations and did anything I could to survive. But 16-year-olds like me don't need a vote to empower us and to enable us to have a voice and be represented. We need adults to do their jobs and act in our best interest. The Children's Act defines a child as anyone under the age of 18 and the burden of responsibility should not be for ballot papers should not be placed on in the hands of babes. Frankly, I think that it is a failure of our protective duty to allow 16 and 17 year olds to be classed as adults before they are developmentally and legally able to be classed as such. Well, they are, but they are old enough to be taxed. Yeah, exactly. And I completely don't agree with that. I think with 16 and 17 year olds with voting, a lot of the policies are going to affect them. For example, the national service uh, policy proposal, the smoking ban, that would most likely affect 16 and 17 year olds now. So I find it a weird nanny state rhetoric in terms of, you know, uh, disenfranchising a certain uh, demographic to not vote when they're fully capable. But so what about the suggestion that, that, that Sir Keir Starmer wants this to happen? Because poll after poll does show that 16 year olds, teenagers, tend to the left. Um, and if they're going to go to the right, that's not until they're in their late teens or early 20s. So he's getting an inbuilt advantage. He's doing it for cynical reasons. So I understand that there are definitely political, you know, advantages, but I would say for me as a 16 year old, as a young business owner, um, I would say that being able to take a more active role when I was 16 and, you know, uh, seeing about education within tech and things like that, I would have been able to reap a bit more benefits than we are now because back then but I believe Saffron, the older voting of, of generation course, didn't want to do that. Current government policy affects children. The whole of education policy affects children today. Does that mean that 11 and 12 year olds should have the vote just because education policy currently well, affects them? We will but have to leave that... it on that question. I'm so sorry, we are out of time. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining our debate this morning. We had a vote on it. 52% of you said yes, 16 year olds should get the vote, but that's it from us.